In this video, we will take a look at how to set up the UAC232 interface with Mac or Windows computers. Before connecting the interface to your computer, first you need to install the UAC232 mix control software for your operating system from the UAC232 downloads page on zoomcorp.com. For Windows users, you'll also have to download the UAC232 driver. After installing the applications, you can now connect the UAC232 to your computer. On Mac, set the UAC232 as the interface for your computer. First, go to your system preferences and select Sound. In the sound settings, set the input and output device to the Zoom UAC232 driver. Once the driver has been selected as an audio device, you can adjust the device's settings in the Audio MIDI Setup app. To open the app, go to the Utility subfolder of the Applications folder. In this window, you can adjust the buffer size, sample rate, and bit depth. By default, the format setting is set to 32-bit float. On Windows, go to your Windows System settings and select Sound. In the Sound settings, set the input and output device to be the UAC232 driver. Once the driver has been selected as the audio device, you can adjust the device's settings in the UAC232 control panel. To open the control panel, click the Zoom UAC232 control panel icon in the taskbar notification area. In this window, you can adjust the buffer size, sample rate, and bit depth. By default, the format setting is set to 32-bit float. If you are using a DAW that does not support 32-bit float, you can adjust this setting to 24-bit. For more about compatibility, watch our compatibility video in this YouTube playlist or visit the UAC page on zoomcorp.com. Now, let's take a look at the UAC 232 Mix Control app. All the way to the left, there is a volume adjustment slider for each input. These are not gain adjustments. You cannot set gain when recording with the UAC 232 in 32-bit float. This volume adjustment will affect the level of the audio being recorded in your DAW. But regardless of the setting, you will be able to dramatically raise or lower the audio level without negatively impacting the quality of your recordings. Let's take a closer look at this. Open up your favorite DAW and select the UAC232 as the audio in and out. For this example, we are using Adobe Audition on Mac. Open up Audition, go to Preferences, Audio Hardware, and select the UAC232 as your audio input and output device. Now let's open up a new session and make sure it's set to 32-bit float. Plug in your microphone, instrument, keyboard, or other sound source and start recording. We will record three files from the same audio source set to three different volume levels in mix control. The first recording is set to zero. Here there appears to be no audio. Our second file is set to 30, which appears to be normal. And the third is set to 60. That file looks clipped. Now let's normalize or adjust the level to a set maximum. Now all three files look identical. For normal use, you can simply set the volume adjustment to give you a normal level of audio. But you can be confident that if the sound source gets suddenly louder or quieter, you will still be able to use all of the audio captured. To monitor your audio, you can plug speakers into the main outputs on the back of the UAC232. You can also monitor with headphones plugged into the front of the interface. Make sure direct monitoring is deactivated or inputs are turned down in the direct monitor mix if not in use or you may hear some unwanted noise in your headphones. There's a lot more to learn about the UAC232 and the mix control software. To learn more about the UAC232 and the mix control software, Check out the other videos in this playlist on our YouTube channel and visit our website, zoomcorp.com. Good luck and enjoy creating.